All right, guys, just got to the launch and check this out. You guys are not gonna believe this. There is so much fishing line. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. Someone has done left fishing line all over the place. So I got a little bit of time to spare. I have about five or 10 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and get all this line picked up. This is absolutely ridiculous. At the kayak launch here in Jim's Fish Camp, Guys, pick up y'all's garbage, man. Don't ever leave fishing line laying around just because that can get caught up in so many different animals. So, yeah, I have about five, 10 minutes to spare. Gonna go ahead and do my duties. Hopefully it uh, brings good karma for the day, but I'm gonna go pick this trash up real quick, folks. Guys, y'all check this out. We got a jig head laying out. We got a lead weight. So much garbage here. Absolutely ridiculous. Look at all that garbage. That took two minutes to pick up, guys. Do your part. All right, guys, just picked up the line. Y'all check this out. Look at how much, look at how much stuff was in there. I found a lead weight sitting there. I found an old jig head right here sitting there guys pick up y'all's fishing line come on what in the world is this y'all check that out let's go see if donnie needs a, a paddle hey bro happy late happy late christmas man here <laughs> what is going on guys it's your boy kamar tech media just want to start off by uh hoping that y'all all had a great christmas happy new year we are out here today, me and my buddy, and uh, we're on a scam, not a scam river, we're on Simpsons River here in Pace, Florida, and we're going to be going after some redfish, some trout, um, hybrid bass, whatever is out there. The river is super high right now, as you guys can see, super high. It's actually low tide, but it's still extremely high. It just had a ton of rain that poured, and now it's, you know, essentially overcast, but should be a good day on the water, guys. Just want to uh, also say thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for the support on all the uploads. And uh, let's go ahead and get this freaking trip started. I'm pumped. I haven't been kayak fishing in about a week and a half, guys. I've been out of town and uh, had a great time with family and whatnot. And I hope you guys did too. But let's stop talking. Let's get everything situated. Let's get some baits in the water. And most importantly, let's go catch some fish. Tight lines, folks. All right, guys. So first, I want to show y'all what I got for Christmas from my old lady. Y'all check this out. I got me a freaking net. Finally, folks. No more losing any type of fish. I promise y'all that. Y'all have been ranting and raving about me not having a you know net and whatnot. Finally got one. So we're not gonna lose any fish today, I promise. So, but check out the scenery right now, guys. It's super foggy. Um, looks kind of cool to be honest, but we're on the way to the spot right now. And uh gonna start off throwing probably some top water uh, maybe even a rattle trap and I want to also start off the video by saying a huge thank you to PC fun uh, PC fun is a company that makes a ton of reels uh, rods um, you know all types of just fishing accessories and they reached out to me asked me if I wanted a brand new spinning reel and I'm like heck yeah so they sent me a brand new reel called the carbon X 3000 and I'm gonna be trying to land some fish on this today. I have a rattle trap tied up to it right now, but um, yeah, guys, huge shout out to them. And uh, like I said, gonna be trying to using this a little bit and hopefully we can land some quality fish and see how this thing, uh, you know, works out here on the water. So that's the game plan. And then on my other uh, rod and reel, I have a top water. And of course that's my pin slammer 3500. And uh, yeah, guys. Should be a good day. Hopefully we catch some nice fish. There's, there's like mud, dude. Look at this little like tide line almost. It's muddy, muddy clean. All right, guys, just got to the spot. Gonna start off throwing some top water. 
see if we can't get something to hit. There he is. Got one. Nice, folks. There we go. PC fun, baby. I got a net this time, too, folks. I don't even know what this is. Nice red, baby. Nice red fish. Come on, baby. Oh my God. Come on, baby. Get in here. No. Yes! Woo! That is what I'm talking about, folks. Woo! Man, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, folks, that's what I'm talking about. First fish of the day. Man, it has been a long day. Guys, check out that freaking red. Absolute, look, the hook just came out too. So he was barely hooked. This guy's gonna be upper slot. Oh my goodness gracious. Whew. That is a heck of a fish right there on the gulp. As you guys can see, he freaking choked it. And I should say on the brand new PC Fun Carbon X 3000, guys, doing work on this foggy morning. Let's go ahead and get things situated here. Oh my gosh, my buddy literally just left because the bite was dying down. <laughs> he was gonna be so mad whenever I sent him a picture of this thing. All right, guys, that is how it's done right there. Beautiful Escambia River Red right there. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna show this guy off for y'all real quick. Really, really solid red right there, guys. Probably about 24, 25. I'm gonna get a quick measurement on him, make sure he's legal, and then uh, <laughs> I think this guy's going home. I think you are going home, buddy. Let's get a measurement on him, folks. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing measured. Oh yeah. That is a perfect, perfect slot redfish right there. He's gonna be right at around 24 inches, guys. Yeah, right around 24 inches, maybe a little over. Golly, what a solid fish, guys. That is what it's all about, perseverance. I was literally like almost about to head in. I'm not even kidding you. Um, I just wanted to try this one last spot. And uh, since I caught this thing, I'm gonna keep on fishing this area, but that is really awesome to see. I thought the morning was gonna end with a skunk, but like I said, perseverance pays off. And uh, heck yeah, guys, I am freaking pumped. What a fish right there. All right, buddy, let's put you in the Yeti. Let's get back to fishing, guys. Hey guys, it's All right, folks, so there's our two fillets right here. This one, I'm not gonna lie, kind of messed up a little bit, but it's still fine. Don't hate, appreciate. But there's our two fillets. I'm probably gonna get some scissors and cut this out, the skin, and that is gonna be it, folks. That's gonna be all that we really need, and 
like I said, first time ever doing it like this. And uh, yeah, so get the butter ready, get the seasoning, and we are going to get the grill fired up. But first, let's see what this guy was eating, folks. Let's see what this old man was. Ooh, yeah. I feel some crabs in there, guys. I knew he's been eating crabs. Every single redfish. Look at that. Ew, Look at that. that was a big one. Look at there, folks. That is a freaking blue crab. Oh my god, he had been eaten. <laughs> Look at that. Hey. Nothing but crabs. And do you want to know why I'm, I said blue crabs though? Because right before I caught this guy, I literally saw one swimming and I tried to catch it with my net, but it got away. And it was about that same size. But yeah, a lot of these these fish that are um, in these brackish water guys, that's what they're feeding on is blue crabs and shrimp and stuff like that. So if y'all can catch a blue crab or something or even like a tiny shrimp, Throw that out and you're going to be in really good luck. But, all right, enough talking. Let's get this mess picked up and I'll, and I'll meet you guys back in the kitchen. All right, guys, so we have our two fillets right here on the cookie sheet, just like so. And I just went ahead and I grabbed some, some shears and I just went ahead and cut off all that excess skin where that rib cage was. And there you, there you have it, guys. We got two big fillets of redfish right there. And what we're going to do starting off is um, I melted some butter right here and I have this little brush, and I'm essentially just gonna do this right here, just brush it on like so. And once this is done, I'm going to sprinkle on some of our seasoning. And after that, it should be go time. I have the grill fired up right now, it's getting hot. And uh, yeah, very, very simple way to cook redfish, guys. Probably the most popular, to be honest, but I've never tried it. So I'm really excited about giving this a try. And uh, yeah, it should be fantastic. So once that's done, we're going to give it a little bit more salt, not too much, because our butter is salted. And then we have right here, we got some lemon pepper seasoning. And it looked really, really good, so I'm going to sprinkle just, just a teensy bit. I'm not going to do overkill. So do it just like so. That's probably it right there, folks. And there you have it. Those are our two fillets that we're gonna chunk on the grill and uh, not gonna take long, but I'm not gonna lie. Really, really stoked about trying this. First time ever having a uh, redfish on the half shell. So let's go throw this guys on the grill and uh, let's see how it goes. All right guys, we got our grill right here and here we go. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off with our skin and scales down. Just like that. Look at that freaking filet guys that is a slab of meat right there and that is all we're going to do and what I'm going to do I saw this from Bama Beach Bum shout out to you Bama Beach Bum <laughs> Matthew if you're watching this bro um, I got this idea from you but I'm just gonna throw a little bit more butter on there like that and uh, just to give it a little bit of extra butter on there and maybe at the end I'll put some lemon juice on there too. But not trying to do too much going on just because I really want to be able to taste um, the actual redfish. But all right, guys, check it out. Oh, it's looking mighty fine. Look at that. Super good looking. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, damn, I smoke burning my eyes. You got Taylor laughing in the background because <laughs> I'm trying to do this on my own real quick. She was doing something. But I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice on now, folks. That butter is melted nicely. Oh yeah. Mm, that looks so good. As you guys can probably see, they're starting to swell up. So, shouldn't be that much longer, but so far it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this so that heat gets locked in there and give it a couple more minutes. All right guys, it is time to finally taste this redfish. And check it out, it looks absolutely fantastic. Look, there's like butter just dripping down it. Freaking absolutely amazing. Um, essentially what this half shell, what you want it to be like is this meat is just gonna flake off just like this. That's exactly how it's supposed to look and uh, basically be like. It just peels off of that skin and scales very easily. And what the skin and scales really do is it, it basically shields the meat from being uh, overdone and just super dry and uh, keeps it very tender and moist so that is it right there it's time to give this baby 
a freaking taste test. Let's see how it is, folks. Oh my goodness gracious. My God. Ooh, holy cow. Guys. Oh my gosh. Absolutely fantastic right here. Very, very good, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Um, super tender, like I said. The freaking, that dang lemon pepper seasoning really does um, give it a great taste as well. My God, this is amazing. Very easy to put together, too. But yeah, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Probably the easiest way to cook fish, to be honest. You just make sure that your grill is hot. You know what I'm saying? Fillet it, throw it on there for about 10 or so minutes. Voila, it's done. So super easy, super simple, and super good. But but yeah, guys, absolutely fantastic. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments how y'all prefer y'all's redfish. Because this was absolutely fantastic. Like, this might be my new favorite way to cook redfish. So probably going to be doing this a lot more often. But hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said earlier, I hope you all, uh, hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and a happy new year and uh, I appreciate the heck out of you guys and until next time tight lines folks